Facing mounting pressure to improve living conditions at its federal border detention facilities, the Biden administration has now released its first images from inside two Texas detention centers. Many of the facilities are now home to a record number of migrant children who are being held well past the 72-hour maximum for unaccompanied kids. The, these Border Patrol facilities are not places made for children. And ABC News getting an exclusive look inside this border processing outpost in El Paso, Texas. A wave of asylum seekers seen huddled in close quarters, some sleeping on floors and under foil blankets. Several of the border stations are overcrowded and overwhelmed. The White House scrambling to find a solution. We've got to treat this issue in a way that is reflective of our values as Americans and do it in a way that is fair and is humane. The caravans of people making the journey to America are coming through Mexico from Central American countries like Guatemala and Honduras. This pregnant woman and her eight-year-old son fled Honduras, arrived at the U.S. border only to be expelled, underscoring the extreme risk migrants are willing to take for a chance at a better life in America. In Donna, Texas, only 250 people are meant to be held here. Now there are nearly 4,000. Experts say the circumstances are unsuitable for children. While back in El Paso, <laughs> this video shows girls exercising outside. Inside, migrants get medical checks and line up for food one by one. Some say their expedition took them more than a month just to get here, only to be met with a future as uncertain as the road they traveled on. And the political blame game over the crisis continues. The White House pointing the finger at the Trump administration for the current conditions, while many Republicans say rolling back Trump-era immigration policies with no alternative in place has led to the surge. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.